Wait, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be working on that sort of Napter thing. Oh, I was just using Napter to listen to music for free. That's that's not Soricom Napter. That's Napster. Soricom Napter is a TCP tunnel for cellular devices. Oh. last video, we were accessing the Raspberry Pi's commands locally through SSH or the Raspberry Pi's terminal. But when we deploy our scooter into the real world, we'll have to access the Raspberry Pi's remotely through the cellular connection. How can we do that? Well, SORCOMP has a new service called Napter, which will allow us to access the Raspberry Pi through any TCP connection securely. Let me show you how. As with all SORCOM services, setting it up starts off with the SORCOM console. First, you check off which SIM you want to set up, and under Actions, there's an on-demand remote access button. Click it, and it'll give you options for which port you want to set up, the timeout, and IP ranges. This port defaults to 22, which is the SSH port, so we'll just leave it at that. And the timeout is at 30 minutes which means that after 30 minutes of your SSH tunnel, it will close and prevent malicious hackers from entering this SSH tunnel. Like the timeout option, this IP address range option allows you to limit access to your SSH tunnel and prevent malicious hackers from using it. This range ensures that only people inside your network can access it, but if you leave it blank, it will fill in information about your current IP of the computer you're working on. So just click OK, and it'll give you an SSH command that you can just copy and paste it in to your terminal. However, you'll have to change the user to Pi to specifically connect to your Pi with your password. OK, this looks good. Well, we'll exit out of SSH to SORCOM Napter and use SSH locally because SORCOM Napter's SSH is much slower due to it coming in through the cellular tower rather than through the local network. So we do that with SSH Pi at raspberrypi.local. Type in your password. First we'll copy over the scooter's MAC address from harvest.py. Next, open up napter.py and replace the device's MAC address with the one and replace the device's MAC address with the one from your scooter. Now we can run this Python file. Now if we wanted to access the server, we'll have to expose the port on our router or use something like ngrok to open the port. But SORCOM lets us do it through the cellular connection. Let me show you how. To expose the port using SORCOM Napter, we'll go back into our console and click the Show All Remote Access Settings button. Then we'll just add a new port on 5000, which is the port where the server is running, as it says in the terminal. Press OK. OK. So now we have the scooter that's connected and if we try to move it back and forth, it starts beeping and it's pretty hard to move because it's in its locked state. To unlock it, we can go to the address and add slash unlock. Wait for it. And it's connected. And now the scooter is unlocked and it doesn't beep anymore when I move it back and forth. In this video, I showed you how to use SORCOM Napter to set up remote management for a scooter. We used SSH to the Pi and a server so we can visualize the data coming in from the scooter. I hope you can see how easy and secure it is to use SORCOM Napter to set up remote management on our scooter. Join us next time in our multi series where we show you how to use AWS Lambda to set up surge pricing for the scooter.